So I missed the beginning of this game, uh, but it looks like Billy Billy are getting pounded. They have four, pl four players on the eco trying to fight Mound. And when Finesse is winning in the Angels that easily, it's over. It's over. But again, that smoke will be dissipating at some point. When does he take a peek? There EG is. is a fraud? No, I don't think so. But it was a bit rough for them, wasn't it? I think Aeon played very well in that game. just wants to get on the side. Now it's all on Crash. He's fallen. Billy, Billy, okay. finally drawing some blood. Everybody needs to hold on to their overreactions until we've seen the group stages play out in the first round of playoffs. Resetting these players now. I'm going to force out the lockdown though. Flash goes in. EDG are pretty excellent, I think. Nine. This. They got out six seconds to try and handle it. And Rim plays forward. Going to fall eventually to Somba now. Has to fall away. And caught in the heels. Knight goes forward. Mike. Go on, YZ. Actually, Go on, YZ. Putting the pressure right back towards NRG. And now FNS and Artis with their work cut out. Ten seconds to make something happen. And it's looking unlikely. Go on, Billy, Billy. Go on. Go on, my sons. To find the paint show onto the lockdown. Pick yourselves up. Pressure, Don't become a laughing stock. I think the biggest reason why NRG tend to be ranked damage. above Team Liquid, not just because their results have been better, is because they've just been winning for a long time. NRG are a team that has a history of success. Whereas Liquid don't. Liquid have one tournament that they've done well in. successful in the retake. This time around, going to have to be tested a little bit further here. Delayed on the plant, but going to make it through. No one working off that initial barrage of utility here. As Victor's going to get away with holding this position a little longer, force forward, but now FNS going to be holding on. Again, struggling to oh. make down that first drop, but suddenly they draw blood. Crashes Billy Billy is done to hit. Som now has too many targets, but he nice from Som, well. though. Snaps oh, he's so fucking good. He's so good. My stripper. My stripper. Up w stripper. NRG have a proven core that doesn't crumble under pressure. Yep, agree with you. Liquid. All right, so we're fighting over rubble control. Knight ends up going down. Oh, sorry, Knight gets a kill, but we've traded both of the Rays players. Rubble control for NRG. Seems good. First real push out towards rubble we've seen from NRG that feels fairly committed. I think that must have been a missed one-way smoke from Knight. Because that smoke doesn't really look great. NLG going to be able to stamp their authority back on this map already. And NRG full rotate off. But they still they still have presence around here. The Prowler's going to try and take a look at that. But the Prowler only checked this corner. Oh, that's a good haunt, though. That haunt allows these two players to rotate off. It removes the presence over it towards Rubble. Finesse one away from being able to get his pit online. So, Rin in an opportunity to win or lose this round, I think. Looks like a fake pivot to me through B. Although... What in the fuck? Not exactly sure what was going on there with the... Yeah, that was a bit weird. Overcooking it there, I think, a little, NRG. They had a timing to just try and hit the seaside as hard as possible. See if they could trade out the guy anchoring and get down a pit. But they took too long. Advertised that they were over here. There's only 30 seconds left on the clock. You know that there's going to be players like here and here in Waterfall. I think that was overcooked. And there's not going to be any commitment from Billy Billy here. Finesse has been really prioritizing this B wall. Instead of the A wall that cuts off this kind of information, and they're in quick. Nice stuff. They get rid of the alarm bot close. They haven't seen a response in previous rounds, so they just pounce on it. Have they got the plant coming in though? Wait and see when that's going to fully be contested here. There's a swing. Individual nice idea from Rin. Good crosshair placement, but Crash is just, just spraying them all down. And once again, there's that gear shift. There's that depth. NRG, NRG have such fantastic, 
variety of pace. It's the biggest strength for NRG, is the way that Finesse calls the attack sides, utilizes all of the conditioning that they do. You know, they, ha they, they're, they have a very balanced range of attack side strategies and tempos. They can hit you with a slow, a fast, they can throw the same utility at the beginning of both of the rounds to make it feel very similar. They're very, very good at understanding that portion of the game. Most impressive team in the world are doing that, I think. Obviously, that doesn't make them on its own the best team in the world, but I think they're the best at that. Still the same Viper utility being used here. This wall, this wall, this orb. Which I think the omen positioning here is really good against. You're getting information in front of it. The one way is going up, this kind of thing. So Trailblazer still exists. You can smoke to try and get people off here and you can snake bite, although it doesn't have any snake bites. Nice from YZ. YZ counters the Trailblazer, so they maintain rubble control, and instead, NRG pop into B. The reaction's so fast and so good here from Finesse again. They're looking to try and push people away from the A line. When they realize that there's reinforcements and there's at least two players over in rubble, they fast pop into B. However, oh, that is a crucial duel. Leaving finesse in a 1v2. He's going to challenge the lockdown. Wind's going to find the headshot. All right. I, I like the idea there, but Billy Billy were fast enough to respond to it themselves and just flooded into B. They've really recovered this. This was 5-0. I don't think I will say. Finesse's Viper wall cutting off in towards B, causing some real issues for Billy Billy. It looks like they're set up just to go for a fast B again. So they're recognizing that they're fighting really hard over sure. Rubble at the beginning with three players. So they're just instantly pivoting into a B hit. Well, I like this me. Viper's pit. This, time around, this though, pit from Yosemite time. is just based off so the uh, noise that they're making on B. But look at this guy. Look at Victor. So Finesse has now got info on where Knight is. Knight goes down. Victor pops out expecting a reaction from these B players through the breakable door. Yep. Oh, but Billy Billy are kind scary. of too slow to react to it in the first place. An NRG have absolutely finessed them with the Ray's lurk. I think Ardis needs to get the fuck out here and rejoin the rest of his team. Blank might be able to do something. Ooh. Ardis getting caught in that spot might be a problem. But what is that from Blank? Oh, from Bianc, sorry. Bianc, not Blank. Oh, Whiffy from Victor. Whiffy, Whiffy. Oh, Bianc is just running at them. Oh, oh, NRG. Oh, no, baby. Oh, no. Fantastic calling and coordination there to be able to get Victor through, but Ardis got caught, spammed through a smoke there onto a player towards Rubble, and BLG. That's two rounds towards the end of the half where I think NRG did everything right in terms of like their macro. They just lost the duels and messed up their positioning towards the end. Like the idea was good to be able to get into position to win the round, but they didn't close it out properly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, he's allowed to reload? Oh no, Knight kills him. Okay. Another kill from Knight. Great nade by Victor counters the paranoia. And they have got to think Victor's still in heaven. He knows the spike's down. And he's got the spike. I assume the door is not broken either, because who the hell would have broken it? Victor's got a great chance of winning this. Unfortunately, he hasn't been holding the angle, so he's just given them the timing to cross. However, when they tap, he's got a backstab chance. He doesn't know where the omen is. Good boombot. He's got to hear them. He, he hears them. He hears the plant. Now he can speed up a little. 
closing on in three he's only got three bullets i would have been tempted to reload there i think when the plant noise was going down oh final bullet the last bullet jesus what a 1v2 what a 1v2 oh he was just knife out the whole way making no noise to get the timing perfectly Slip into the night with that spike. Uh, not the way I think a lot of players would have played that. I think a lot of players would have taken the time to reload, run faster where they hear the plant noise. Because they're kind of like, it's obvious you're coming from Waterfall anyway, but Victor's quiet the entire time, which obscures the timing, and he just catches Knight. Very nice. I thought he would knife him. Of course he's not going to knife him. What are you talking about? Who do you think he is, Jules? Actually, seeing some light shields invested on the side of Billy Billy. Oh. Just a sheriff in the hands of Yosemite. That's what you would have tried, don't lie. I would not have tried to knife him unless it was an unrated game. And maybe the Spectre. It's tough, though. How are you going to find a player out of place here, right? Oh, it's not there. Finesse gets a second. Catching a two for one on that didn't even mean it. Nearly got Bianca as well. Damage you like as well. This is so this is a bit of a new smoke that people are throwing by the way right on this corner you see how the attackers are throwing this smoke it's similar to the Nats Viper wall that he uses defensively but it's the attack side trying to block off um, vision from people who are holding back sight or holding on ramp to defend C. The idea being that it's easier for you to get into the site with that. I'm not sure if I'm in love with it, to be honest. This smoke. I think it's possible that just throwing one on the ground in front of the choke point, as you would with almost every other choke, is just better. I'm not sure, though. But then again, I suppose it does block off the top of site line as well. It's a crunch. So much utility put towards that backside of the that's wall. A, there was no way out for him. That's a really nice investment of... Uh, I, I like the Nana Swarm, honestly. This Nana Swarm that Rin just threw, that bounces off the back wall and lands on top of Rubble, could smoke an Omen if they're going to teleport up there. I like the idea of it in, like, round 15, where you think it's likely NRG are going to be playing for rubble control. But also, their omen died very quickly to just snake by nade. That probably is the case with Som now, considering filling some of the space into a B site. Som takes down Rin, trading back Bianc's work, and now down to the last two. Nice from Bianc. Hello, hello, hello. Bianc and Yosemite have just shredded them. Oh, Crashies has got such a good chance of winning this, though. Oh, my God, he's noted the last player. 14 bullets. Oh, Bianc! Dude, Bianc is turning up. From Billy Billy. All right, Nightfall coming in. A lot of pressure. Door opened. How does Victor deal with this? Oh, how does YZ get caught with the paint shell? Yeah, they're in a lot of trouble here. Good, though. Again, it's all Bianc. Bianc is just on his own, walking through tree, killing two players in backside. That's just all Bianc. This whole round is Bianc. The previous round was Bianc. NRG are getting bianked. Oh my god, I thought Ardis had uh, flicked that. Show me the bianc. Oh, he just shuts down the showstopper like it's nothing and then wins another duel at the exact same angle from Crashies. I asked you about the individuals. You could have said bianc nice and easily. On an MVP. It wasn't the player I was expecting to be looking at. God damn, Bianc. I'm kind of looking towards these Time sort of players, but test. hey, when it comes to land, Bianc's looked real good. Now, breaking the money, Mike, as you highlighted. So, eco round, they're going to go for a trap play here. If these guys go and commit towards C, which they're going towards, off something like the orb tap, or no, actually, after 15 seconds, they're just walking out. 
Yosemite. They have paranoia here. Down the first crashes and found one with a stinger. Yeah, but knights on the case. Oh, paranoia didn't even get utilized there. Is open. Maybe a little overzealous on the alt, but why not? Should get you if NRG had waited here, another still. five to ten and seconds, the whole of BLG was coming back towards them. them. Probably quite clean as well, unless some artists can do some big damage, which is tricky. But just those sheriffs, paranoia, yes. Some nano swarms, sure, but. The thing about YZ is that he operates entirely with his brain off. <laughs> yeah, why? I, I have said publicly before, and I still stand by it, that I think China is currently a one-team region. It's, that's not a popular take with people who are a fan of Chinese Valorant, but I really believe it. I think that... Teams like oh, FPX, uh, Billy Billy, teams like K1 and that kind of stuff, like the other teams that have been up Billy towards Billy the top in the past, they've just never understood the game anywhere near there as well as EDG. <laughs> and the Doesn't intelligence that the, the EDG play players like have is so different to the way that the rest of the this Chinese scene tends to play. Man, what to come back to the same oh, discussion, yeah, talking talk about being forced to respect Billy Billy. It's yeah. like the Somme on and the other side, but a bit more sloppy. Yes, they've been humbled. This time it is actually an indicator of that. No, it's pronounced YZ. Chet desperately wanted to get a grip back on this game. The players all send in their own pronunciations before a tournament like this. Uh, Billy, Billy Billy Gaming, YZ. Out, uh, I guess a, a successful first half in terms of the initial scoreline. Yep. Such so just called Chinese teams dumb. I mean, the style that they play is definitely not cerebral Valorant. It's chaos, individual skill. It's, it feels a bit weird. I think it's a lack of experience, like, too. I think give them a year, and there will be at least one more Chinese team that's up there with EDG. What's the point of Cerebral if you're just getting shot in the head? Well, counterpoint, what if you're not getting shot in the head? What if you shoot them in the head and you're playing more Cerebrally? What if, in fact, by playing a little more intelligently, you can shoot them in the head better because you don't take bad duels? What if one contributes to the other? Certainly here now. You have to go back to basics. Fake news. Oh. A bit of proactivity to kick things off here. There it oh, is. That's paranoia. the trap play that we were trying to replicate in our ranked it's games. Paranoia it's comes through to here off the dog contact, okay. double blast pack through or updraft dash isn't, through. This isn't comfy anymore. You're in spawn. You're banking on and your NRG have just right? assassinated their sea hold. When you play against NRG, you really have to be concerned about that. They're the only team that does this trap play, really, but they like running it. And if you tuck into this corner or you try and play behind this box, you're dead. If you flee through this choke point, you'll be fine. But if you try and tuck where these X's are, you're fucked. Sideshow, YZ is pronounced YZ. <laughs> Not true. Ah, YZ. Me, the British man. YZ. Um, let's see what they can do here. Why is he? You might have a fair fight on the first. Oh, hold on. More than a fair fight. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Thank goodness for that. Finesse, just finding the timing. But almost. The pressure got to him a little bit there. Tried to throw the paint shell out. Secure that side and, and clear the other. Yeah, we get told how to pronounce the players' names. Yep. They, um, before Champions or before any big international tournament, they get in touch with the teams and the players or the managers record audio clips of their name's pronunciation and they send it to us. Now, some of the players troll relentlessly. Like Jorgamo, for example, who said, my name is Jorgamo or Georgimo or Jorg... What, what did he say? Jorgimo, Jorgimo, or Georgimo? And we were like, right, well, we're going to call you Jorgimo then. And then Potter calls him Georgimo. And listen, pick a pronunciation. Or other, other people troll. Like, for example, with FPX, before Tokyo, no, before Lock-In, they told us to pronounce Nishao's name TZH. And then before this event, they told us to pronounce his name Nishal. So I don't know. We're just sticking to Nishal. But they also, they told us pr to pronounce Yukor. Yukor. And then they also wrote it as YU. Don't ask me. But I'm, I'm just going based off the audio that the teams have sent us. He might have changed how he wanted it to be pronounced. 
to see what yeah, the possibly. Strike. I quite like the idea of it. Some people do that as well. Kind of further that pressure, right? You've got to really add that question mark of doubt to Artis's mind, but the pressure coming through connector side, this is a problem for Artis. This is a big problem. Under pressure, but he's got a lot of players coming his way. Finally falls back, respects it. The paranoia will record him. It's a right choice made. Oh, just spam nice spam. Finds Knight perfectly. Okay, now Ardis has got to be worried about somebody pushing this. How does he play it? He swings. Why is he chased that far? But they didn't punish the lockdown anyway. But still, there's danger here. They have to respect this lockdown now. They have to move away. Nice door open from Finesse. Crashies is watching the player that came out. Oh, nice shot by Finesse as well. And this is not going to be possible for Bianc, no matter how well he's playing. That was lovely. Actually, they can get real close here. And they've got Bianc one off from the ult. So, door opens. Some looks to try and break the Prowler, but doesn't quite. Oh, no. He didn't even shoot it, actually. I heard a shot. thought it was him. Trailblazer. Paranoia comes through. And Prowler. They're giving a lot of space. They don't have any ults to be able to come back in with. This is going to be very tough for NRG. This... Oh, my God. I'm surprised that didn't kill more than one. That seems a bit too bold to be holding in that spot. That's a very common spam spot. But now revealed... I don't really see how energy win this round. I think best case scenario, they force out the lockdown, which Rin does use. No way. No way. Why doesn't the pit cover the plant position? Why did they pit stairs? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. Not like... Bianc is an animal. Bianc is actually an animal. 18 kills. Pressuring the lockdown. That's a superstar. Bianc is popping. Oh. Across more maps. Across another series. What a player. A beautiful Red Bull clutch to keep Billy Billy in the game here on map one. God damn. He's left scratching his head about it. That was all the old so my Billy game. Billy are playing like shit, but they have one player who doesn't miss. I don't agree that they're completely playing like shit. I think they've got some... Oh my God, Knight. Oh my God. He went for the double TP into the corner. What an absolute mad cunt. He teleported up here and then he teleported into the orb spot. What a fucking maniac. What an actual maniac! Oh, but he's got the kill! It doesn't matter! Bianc's on fire and I'm <laughs> on <laughs> This game is ridiculous. Is it just me or is NRG really underperforming? I don't think so. I think. Right. Billy Billy have had some decent ideas. They've also had some huge clutch moments from Bianc. And they've had some silly moments like this one from Knight. I'll come back to the same thing I said earlier. We're seeing Billy Billy now in the I mean, look at this. Look at him. I mean, Victor. No, through no are, you, are you blaming NRG for that? He's vulnerable. He's flashed up. What's going on? Wait, they've broken the Who expects that? No, they have. Oh my word! This is this is actually huge. This could be the first big upset. I think we've seen a couple of like 60-40 games, maybe go the 40 way, or it depends how you look at them. Um, this could be genuinely an upset. I'm not going to say too much yet because it's only map one, right? Like, and the NLG are still in the lead. I'm, I'm saying nothing. <laughs> I'm just saying this could be the first real upset, at least on the map. I'll, I'll, I'll curtail it there. That's it. As I said, aggression and artist rewarding. That was not well played by Rin, but Bianca's is there. Bianca, my champ. My God. He's just a monster at this game. A prowler should catch. It does. Yeah, indeed. Victor needs to fall away from this. That sheriff's not going to find what he wants. Bianca is saving them more than any individual player I've seen so far at champs. Match this rotation, noting no one on the drop of that wall. Billy Billy going to get ahead of this though. Capitalize, find themselves a plant on C site. Any weapon. Set themselves up. It's a bit like Aeon, except even harder carry. Oh, they get another kill, it's game on, right? Like Then that retake's got a little bit of leg to it. So I'm holding onto that paranoia, waiting maybe until Victor gets a little closer by. And do they even consider it? Maybe that question mark does start to arise soon. 
Now the pixel spotted. Both players now seen, but they don't know the third. Som sends a paranoia and Victor starts working. Uh oh. That's the moment. Just try. Uh oh. Pops the old. Uh oh. He needs to get this and he does. Oh, the blast pack. And now so They've got 18 health so between them. Still sitting pretty. They could die to and one right click. So low. He's got a 1v1 to win. Victor desperate. There's no time. He can't get there in time. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Oh nice try God. by Victor. With the red but that's also that's also the Lord. loss of a showstopper. NRG desperate to pin him I do like the attempt though. I, I'm not going to lie. I think that was a There's good no idea. Left, Lauren. They can't take a when Victor gets two Billy Billy got them up against the And then he spots here. the other player? Can't fall Victor in this one. I, I really don't think it's a mistake so at all to use showstopper there. Set things in motion yep. as well. He just didn't quite have the health of the time. Confidence to build for Billy Billy. You can see that pack mentality coming into effect. Victor actually All right, Killjoy is swapped over to A. Okay. They still so throw the flash at the beginning and then Crash is going to rotate but off. Billy Billy with another very good read anticipating some aggression. Victor with an operator holding this line. They've so maybe that's Billy Billy have like often been putting a bit of pressure here and then grouping up towards C. So I think this is a great place for Victor to be OP. New look, this little adjustment could be devastating. They don't like it. There's a feel. There's something. They've got a feeling. There's something weird about this, and they don't fancy it. Cover going out. Smoke sent in. They can hear the prowler, so they counter trailblaze. How much does he get for this? Sees they get a bit of information behind it, just crossing utility over towards A. They're pretty happy if they hit into Ardis here. And now they're going back into Victor. The stars are going to align once again. It's not going to get behind the Knight might actually. Oh, no. He cancelled. Victor doesn't have to be too worried. And they're going to go back into the Killjoy. Oh, no, into B. Some still has paranoia here. But the Seekers will give away the full game here. Crash is going to note this lovely. Mid round fact finder there. Crashy's oh, the Crash is caught. Some doesn't get a kill either. Oh, this is messy from the B hold. That is not great. Victor finds another though. Victor gonna find YZ. Ardis! Ardis! He's, he's done it! Ardis! Ardis has just torn them asunder! He's ripped a gaping hole into Billy Billy! By the skin of their teeth! Oh my lord! Catching a beautiful time. I mean, nothing connects on the paranoia here. It's a snake bite and a paint shell to really open up B site. I don't think Rin's been playing very well, but I also don't think that was the worst peak. Ah, no, that was a really bad peak. Especially when Yosemite's holding there too. Yeah, that is bad. Rin should just be playing off Yosemite's contact there, and if you're going to go for a peak, don't go for a crab walk peak. Not a pretty pie. One off the showstopper for YZ, so we can find. So they're going to try and play for the C orb the here to get the showstopper online. They might just end up oh, going straight into C. Crash, sure. The way that they're set up at the moment with the 3 1 1, Spike's not committed, so they might not go immediately into a C hit. But they're going to get showstopper online. NRG are going to be able to see this, so Crashies is going to come over. You just look at Tab, you see that the showstopper's up, you know that you got the C orb. They got Victor on this line here. To force an overtime versus NRG. I didn't think we'd be saying that today. Absolutely I mean, not, but it, it seems like a good stack, except that if they do showstopper engage here, how do these three players actually respond? You got to imagine that there's going to be a paranoia, there's going to be a snake bite thrown, but they've got to actually also try to take some contact. Ah, that's just off the traces. Oh, and YZ just swings and deletes crashes. He gets two. Finesse might have done enough. Victor's tempted to take a timing there because he only has an operator. This it's is going overtime. Second to none, but still, this is no easy task. Three players are locked down and pushes forward. They've got him to OT. Unthinkable scenes here, Mike. So, 
We did not expect NRG knew that there was a showstopper coming into them. On stage as if and their way of their way of trying to deal with that was throwing a snake bite and a paranoia. And yet, YZ can still see some because of where he's positioned and the traces that are being thrown out at him. This is their international debut. Let's let's put If it wasn't for that, why is he just dead? Such a small margin. Back focused in on the server because this NRG is know what's coming. Again, They're set up for what's coming. So far but then is, you know, for they can't quite execute on it. Debut, you're not used An entity on the other side. I think short sure, some says they treat everybody the same. Well, we don't we don't treat any teams differently. <laughs> Here now versus Billy Billy, you gotta argue this their is a four player stack on C to start the round. So I think we're all in the same boat here, just wondering where this goes. Will this be the upset? NRG we're were breaking this alarm bot at the beginning of the round very frequently. That we go, that's a weird map, but let's find out. 12-12, it's OT here between Billy Billy and NRG. If BLG win... Uh, if Billy Billy Gaming win this, is China still a one-team region? I mean, we'd have to see them do more than just win one game. But it would be a fantastic start. Slow creep, creep, sorry, from NRG towards this orb outside A. Billy Billy already with a decent read, though. Three members behind this. Victor, no secrets about it on the way in. Careful. Created a lot of space here. So the rotates were incredibly quick here from Billy Billy. I like Ardis's positioning, trying to punish anybody trying to retake from this position. And he can swing to try and punish stairs players. Paranoia, Paranoia used, missed. Line, so be easy work for but but the back these players from the backside oh, have just three murdered three. everybody. Three, bring it back down to 3v2, make it a 3v1. Crashy's lost alive, locked out from the spike. You can't really deny this they now. Swing on this. Look at it, there's a firing squad on the other side of Crashy's. Desperately uh, we missed it, fails. but it was these players retaking from Pit and from Heaven. It was YZ and Bianc again. YZ and Bianca just got all of the kills that made that doable. They're going nuts. Here's Bianca. Oh, finesse is full blind. He got hit by the paranoia. All right, NRG. Absolutely on the ropes. Well, that did feel like that was the... This is a very different setup. Double setup over towards here. One player trying to spot, smoked off. They're happy keeping the killjoy A. Ardis has not been tested particularly in the final couple of rounds. Those rounds were ending in this direction. Paranoia was used. Not exactly sure what Som was going for there, but he paranoia to clear that corner out. They went and cleared out the whole of Mound. I don't, I'm not sure why, because Billy Billy have been playing really slowly at the start of these rounds. They're not taking mound control until it gets to about a minute on the clock. They could just call a re-push back into C. I mean, that paranoia is like the biggest tell in the world. I don't know why they did that. Oh, they're going to double fake though. No, they're overthinking it. They're overthinking it. But there's nobody there from NRG. They didn't know how well they done. Wait! This is gonna be wait, a wait, 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 wait. NRG are overthinking it! What's going on? Okay, this is just gonna be a 5v5 smack on the A site. Victor catches another. Victor gets another one again. Rin kills Som! And it's over! Bianca kills the last two! standing doing this! NRG! Stunned out of the server, Billy Billy, claiming map one. China number one. I mean, you're talking China about number one. To champions to learn something from your China opponents. number one. And you put up that performance on map one. Online, I'm not gonna lie. On the international stage in Valorant. Bianc looks like. Performance like that. If he keeps this up for the rest, of, I don't know if he's gonna be able to though. Yeah, this is Can he really keep this up for the whole of the series? <clears throat> Can he keep it up for one more map? Again, this isn't just a one map series. This is a best of three. I think this should still be NRGs. Wow, what an upset. That's a fantastic map one. EG Reserve beat Billy Billy in scrims. 
So EG Reserve better than NRG? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking great. <laughs> NRG had plus 16 first kills and lost. Yeah, did you see the amount of rounds they lost to Biank just shredding everybody? That doesn't surprise me. He was on a heater. Have we all forgotten that NRG, Optic, love to drop a game in groups? They love dropping a game in groups. Besides which... They actually played a really nice Lotus there. Their attack side calling was very solid. They had good ideas about how they wanted to defend. They just got whacked. There's nothing wrong with their ideas, with their game plan. There's some sloppiness in terms of the execution and the shots that they're hitting, and their opponent is popping. And Billy Billy have some good ideas on Lotus. Boostio in shambles. Yeah, the biggest loser here is not NRG, it's Boostio. And we just made some adjustments. I told the player that some strategies that we need to focus. And after that, it feels like all the players, they adapt so well into the actual games. And I feels like it coming into the second half of the map, although we lost that pistol rounds, but feels like it's not a very hard game for us. It's still winnable. And after that, we just would like to make some Not a very hard game for us. Focus into the very game. winnable. We're able to get the Easy peasy. There were definitely individual <laughs> issues with how NRG were executing. <laughs> Like, uh, mostly their defense, how they were anchoring and holding crossfires and swinging off each other. But the idea generation, the way that Finesse was calling, I have no issues with. BLG won 60% of their 4v5s. <laughs> So, All right, so let's take a look at the setup. They have the Cypher cam going along here, classic Viper wall, Cypher trip over here, three players in mid, one player anchoring B, and Rin is going to be seriously pressured here. Why have Rin and Knight swapped roles? We may never know. And if Rin is going to be hard anchoring B the whole time, Rin did not look like they were having an amazing game on Lotus, so... NRG might just be sending it into Rin over and over again. Love this Viper setup again. Same thing that we saw from Zest. Repositioning the Viper Orb onto the plant spot here is so good. I mean, I don't think Finesse has thrown it as deep as he should have done, but that's fine. Oh, this is comfortable for NRG. Just nighting one left step. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's down to 1v2. 24 seconds, but you got to land these shots and fast. Try and dig some out of this position. That ain't gonna be easy. Apparently, it might just be Flash gonna connect. Why, why is it said round Two win? Bullets to play with them one target to find crashes holds. And in our <laughs> make it past the first. Why did the random the round win pop up? Amplify what you were just saying. That's How not do production doesn't trigger that. That's automatically exactly. triggered by the API. Completely locked out of this site, especially with the first. That's kill. so strange. In favor of NRG, but time and time again, Billy Billy will find. I think the API must fight. be fucked up. It's ridiculous because it almost feels like the round's done, right? You're thinking about the timer. You're thinking about every aspect. You think, okay, this one's looking pretty wrapped up. They're not going to be able to dig out some from so, that. Spot. And he, and he round, so the gamble four Still, towards B. Scoreline is the important factor. And it's the first for NRG, more contested than I'm sure they'd like. Finesse the swap into the default Viper setup. Light, but a couple of shorties, a frenzy or two, and a classic for night, and that's about it. And Ardis taking the first steps now. Keep in mind, we get to see Ardis on the Jets, so always a joy. Flash to repop into B main. Well, you got some watching it. So some knows that they've lost B main control at the moment. They can't, yeah, they can't see Yosemite. Finesse. Goes exploring. <laughs> Find finesse. And Knight is making a ton of noise running away. Finesse kills him. So now Finesse has got end, all so of this control. control. And he's getting into A. <gasps> he's going to get traded. NRG, come on. Got to be sharper than this. A couple of chances made here, but YZ should be... Oh, dear. oh God. That's, That's a big problem. The other kills are not that bad, but that one is a big problem. Because now YZ can really win this round. This battle is so huge. I don't think some saw him. <gasps> oh, the timing is abominable! Oh! 
This is a round a coach and IGL will be kicking themselves for. Oh. And with his work oh. Very tricky angle. He does. G -G oh. Ladies and gentlemen, now check your corners. Let's keep going. Things descend into chaos there. And both teams so split. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, mean, yeah, YZ yeah. was so disconnected from Bianca. This Why is Ardis trying to scale into B heaven when Finesse and he, has again, the like entirety of A? The time's already gone. Oh, Finesse, gone Finesse has then, to literally yeah. charge yeah. towards the spike. Oh, I mean, he comes God. All the way from defensive spawn. <laughs> Well, that's instantly pivoted things back in the other direction. All right, let's watch Billy Billy absolutely massacre NRG here. Is close, but speaking about close, wise, he's there, and it's a blender night. Nice shots from Crashies. Gets a couple back, but he's gonna need one more, and he tried. Wait a second. God, he tried. Wait a second. Costly second for Billy Billy. And flipping round two, though. They're fine, though. I mean, look at the economy. Their economy is ridiculous. It's out of control. So, that, that economy, like, damage doesn't really do anything. This is all happening because you flipped the NRG logo? I didn't flip the NRG logo. That was Bren. Bren flipped the NRG logo. Already. Looking for NRG to maybe stabilize here early on. Calm the tempo down here. Once again, high priority towards middle. Two play. Oh, shouldered by Yosemite. But you're going to have Rin actually just holding that am angle. That was lovely work. First blood found. That flash will note. That, that does not here, seem we'll to indicate Ardis that Billy Billy know Ardis is that far up. He's going to have to be very careful because look how ready to brawl they are. All five players. Wow, everyone is in mid. Everyone is in mid. Any acceleration on the extremities? Nope. Some well, backs off. Overstep here Finesse just holds. Oh, this will punish. Finesse unable to find some space elsewhere, though. With a very safe field. reaction from NRG, NRG just to try and absorb the aggression instead of outside eight. taking NRG space elsewhere. Once again. Flash but to be honest, they might not have realized there was four players in mid. They might have only thought there was two. Okay, as well. Seekers, do they break the trips? The no. Yeah, and Bian goes down. Round, and he trip kills. And he trades. Oh, Knight gets two. two, brings it back down to a fair 2v2. But keep in mind, is some still no. Hmm. Some so some has no stars. Oh my god, why is he in? Why is he is in? Is he is in? Is he? Oh my god, Chinese Valorant. Chinese Valorant. They're facing NRG. Why is he stuck on the judge? Oh, Jesus Christ. What are we seeing? I mean, NRG is completely caught. NRG off are not ready for that kind of connect. stuff. Yes, They're just not ready. YZ is completely overstepping. Again, all the way to site. Inside that smoke, actually, that's planted on the spike here. In the meantime, Rin wins aim for... duels in that round against Victor and Finesse. The They've got to be winning those if they want a chance of winning here. Line. To kick things off here on split. I'm stunned, my In their last really split match, YZ played with only game, shotguns right? out of choice for like 90% of the rounds. Now, I'm already worried. It's because of what Billy Billy are doing and how uh -oh. they're doing it. Right? Oh, is YZ actually going to be playing yeah, judge we'll only? To the start of map one, though, and that's the confidence factor coming through. Oh, this though, oh, no. looking to switch things up with a blade storm. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> well connect. He's checking that corner from now on, isn't he? That's the same spot that on, Yosemite's been playing quite a lot, so that makes a lot of sense. Should be Good one way. Halts that a little, stalls it out. Oh, I see. That's so Still much damage. damage! That is so that is much damage! Awesome. Knight gets a kill as well onto Victor. Perfect. Playing deep from CT, allowing them heaven control. Making it hard work. Rin, Rin is just careful, spraying all over the place. Almost, Great pre-fire by no Knight. No singular fighter now, no singular chance. As Crash, he's left with so little to play with. It's over. It's over. This, this game is over. Finesse is going to get tilted. Yeah, I mean, that he's playing against a judge-only raise. I don't think he's this... The timing of the camera... Just heartbreaking for crashes. And it's over. Decent chunk of damage, but <laughs> they're still a judge. YZ will convert Billy Yeah, it's like Dazner's, but a pro. This is wild. When do we see the timeout, do you reckon? Uh, I think we see it pretty early on, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There we go. 
Yeah, this is not going how NRG wanted. And look I... how quickly Billy Billy are just able to... That is a ridiculous like pre-fire. There's yeah. no pressure from main. The fire, the, I guess the focal point here for NRG is up through Mayo after Ardis finds that opener. But Billy Billy don't want to concede any You see when Crashies looks at the camera there? And, and he's like, oh he's shit, people are watching us lose to Billy Billy. Cool. NRG should have up a hand from this point. You see that little side eye you gave the camera? Oh, Billy Billy. Well, I feel like the f even here in the he's in his own head. The they realize they're getting they clowned on online. Start digging even deeper, taking space away even further. I think B-Pops go crazy. Finesse on one of the extremities, potentially Som elsewhere if that's how NRG's default lies. And those will be even more concerning rounds. Okay, so the, the judge is back. Every round, he's got to judge. Literally every round. He's got 4K in the bank, funding his Roth IRA, and he's got to judge. You are very correct, Ashiki. Yeah, he picked up the rifle, gave it to his teammate, bought another judge. So BLG immediately used this pit at the start, using the dog to make sure that Yosemite has full control of the pit. So I'm looking at who's drifting. So why is he going to slowly shift away from that A side of the map? Biang flashes. That connects. Finesse chooses the timing to run away. So they think that there's still somebody outside this pit. However, this rotation is very nice from Biang. I don't really know why Biang has rotated so heavily. Obviously, the pit is extremely useful to lock down A, but there is still a chance with the flash catching somebody here that they're trying to recontest it. From you anyway, it's, a, it's so the smart thing to do. He's caught the right uh, answer. This Viper Wall is very strange, but it's only going to be used when he pits at A. I think they've missed the timing a little bit to be pop, but they're going to go for it anyway. YZ is on the other side of the map, thankfully. Biang gets one. Why are we not dropping the op to somebody else? Why is Ardis trying to play jet entry popping B with an operator? And another neural theft that's going to reveal the positions of everybody on NRG. 15 seconds left on the clock. This round's done, Lauren. NRG going to have to cling to these rifles. That's a tragic round from NRG. That is a tragic round. Do they have the flip? They've got funds to. Yeah, they can, try, they can throw a body or two at this. All right. I don't want to see any operators on the attack side. What I do want to see. Something you wanted to lean on in the next few rounds. Are you guys running Abby trap plays Jeff. in mid, so using pulls well. and dogs and boom bots to explosively get picks at the beginning of mid, being, oh, or grouping up B where, you know, and popping? And somebody, you know, flash behind it. Crashes obviously then be the second layer to this execute. They're going to go at mid. I want to see a pull. I want to see a pull in mail where you've seen Yosemite play the majority of these rounds. From Yosemite really causing issues. Flash, turning it into a, a smoke. And now we look at the buy coming out. And they're just slow. They're not actually taking space early with the double duelist. There's three potential victims in middle. Oh, he's away. Nice from YZ, but it's traded. Yosemite's going to try and get in behind the trailblazer. Love this reposition from Yosemite. If he goes towards mail here. I think he's got a great... Sorry, I meant go to vents, but he went back to mail. So now they're going to group over to A. They've got to anticipate the defense being 2-2 split. They haven't broken the cam at any point in this map, to be honest. The trip! Oh, how does Victor get the kill with a stinger? Over delivery from him, Good trade by Som. This finally looks like NRG are going to be able to take a, a rifle two, round. I mean, kind of a rifle round. They had two stingers.
Seventy under. <gasps> this is just audacious play. He's so confident. It's disgusting. Walks the wall. Why He's is Finesse there. just wandering out in the open value, though, as well. when he doesn't know where the retakers are coming from? That's not a good smoke. Oh, that's not ideal. Not at all. Tom's made it there in time. NRG finally break back in the game. Bloody Nora. Back of the show, so, like I said, Victor actually caught up in one of those trips. Nine Some absolute slop here from NRG. Before the flood approaches from NRG. Yeah, you, you have to smoke the spike there. You smoke the spike, you tap, you jiggle, you try and see if you can find one kill, and then you tap again, see if they push the smoke, that kind of thing. NRG mentals in the sewers? Wouldn't it be for you? They were joking about, like, not even knowing Billy Billy. They, they didn't even know YZ's name. Like, I'm sure Chet. Chet always does VOD reviews. Chet will have been prepared. Chet will know what's going on. The players, I don't think, had a clue. Maybe Finesse did. I don't think the other players had a clue who Billy Billy were. I'm nervous for All right. So Bianca is not popping off. But the YZ the YZ raise is messing NRG up. And NRG cannot find advantages at the start of these rounds. This one looks like they're going to take ramp control early. Actually, maybe not. The Viper Wall looks like a hard A pop. They've put the wall down so early, there's three players ready on A. Why is he has an operator? He's gone he's only played judge or op. He's the first judge op raise in the world. He's playing shotty snipers. He's playing Halo. Excuse me? Excuse me? Sorry. No, 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 the timing, FNS, hello, look behind you, someone turn around, someone do something, FNS can't do enough. Billy Billy what are taking are liberties, and NRG, NRG are not set up to, to punish. What they feel is a weakness. Billy it Billy is are old, just doing silly Billy shit, Why is he? and he NRG are not, not ready to punish it. Just walk, walk A-Main as well. Uh, I mean, this is literally shut down in the first five seconds of the round. Oh, not just that, but I mean, the attacking, yeah, like the, the actual aggressive the thing S. they were going for didn't work at all Checking either. Flank, Ard is just failing the entry. Allows YZ to shift walk up with an operator up ramp. <sighs> That's the power of Chinese Valorant. Yeah, these are just some tilting rounds for NRG to lose though. Absolutely. Artis. All right, both Victor trips dodged, essentially. Oh, well, he's gonna, he's gonna the not really. First, takes away a finesse. Victor's fallen as well. It's only Ardis alive, but Ardis is looking a little pissed off. Ar looking a little yeah. mean. Yeah, Ardis so took down the both of the players, players on site, despite the Why fact that. Oh, that's, that's a nice shot, shot by Som. Som. And it's the last one alive. 30 HP. I'm a little confused why they're not trying to actually double dive onto the site players, but maybe it's because BLG are flooding so fast. NRG decided to kill the flooders instead of the site anchor. That was a huge round from Ardis. Ardis messed up the entry in round eight, and then he just decided, I'm going to win round nine. Another situation where you almost want a second body with Knight here. Yeah. He's unable to really act upon his trips because of this double duelist setup from NRG. They're able to just overwhelm, and it's, it's so risky. Yeah, look how, look how quick like those flooders are coming through from Bianca and Rin. And Ardis smoke. is just ready for it. They've definitely got a read the that they're doing that. that so same, same A Viper Wall, and that's got three ah, players playing A, just this Viper Wall. He's got 4,200 in the bank. Yeah, it's an active choice. So yeah. Here's the switch up though. So NLG kind of Why is he uh, on judge again? Down the intention of this A piece, right? Trying to get them paranoid about it. So fast A hit did not come through off the back of the Viper Wall, and now these two players are going towards mid. And Ardis runs into the judge. Vulnerable walking into a judge. You just don't win those. Billy Billy are just disrespecting NRG and getting all of the information because of it. Oh my god, the judge is ridiculous. No, there's no respect at all. They are instantly reading that this is going to be a fast A hit because of this wall. So they put three players here. And as soon as the first, like, 15 seconds when it's not a fast A hit, they pull two players into mid. So then 
they go from playing they go from playing a 1-1-3 to 15 seconds later playing like a 1-3-1 just about coming online now and it's exactly as artist is coming up already snake bited they are not in control it's done half so far this is going to be a classic really just, opt. So, I like first map, I felt like NRG strength. was still playing pretty well. Just NRG look like they're things. out of ideas here. I'm so glad we got to see him in his strong look as well, because we saw kind of uh, Biang having that banal pace change of gear shift, maybe just trying to get aggressive behind the knives. The stinger's coming out. Shouldn't you pump in a lot of fakes uh, then? A little bit of a deeper hold, though. Well. Why is he here? Can't catch artists this time. And Artis gonna double dip. He wants in. He wants blood. But he's already taken down a fifth. Yeah, I think doing. getting flooded. There's challenges everywhere. I think doing things quickly would be very good against BLG, like they're doing in this round. But NRG didn't really want to opt into Billy Billy's pace. Wow, Crashies is getting fucked on sight. Bianca just ran in and destroyed the player on sight. Just they can't out. compete with the pace. Billy Billy, uh, Billy, Billy are so much faster. They rotate way. full five I mean, players we'll over to A. Switch up in the approach here. Billy Billy just and then they just flood so through. And, and Bianca kills everybody on site. Yeah. And normally, if it's a scrappy game, I also put that to NRG. They're, they are great brawlers. If you were the coach, what would you call? Brawl, yes, I think slow things down, start oh. I think a 4-1 would be pretty good here. So you play 4-1 and you have finesse aggressively lurk. I guess the opening stretch of Lotus where the fundamentals were on display and NRG were leaning heavily into that. So, for example... Yeah, I just saw it. Oh, well. Good spam. Okay. Nice. Four players go and take a ramp control, for example. Like, three take a ramp, one watches here, and one goes for, a, like, an aggressive lurk through B. And the idea being that they're over-rotating so hard, they'll pull off, your lurker will get value. Once you have a ramp, you can pause, you can pivot through here. That kind of thing. Getting a little worried with this. If he goes back in and doesn't recheck this diligently, then Nay doesn't go over. Is Knight Knight's just swinging? Okay, Crashies punishes it. Can they kill Rin? Good trade from Finesse. One HP was enough to take down Crashies, but it is a two v three. That's a weird pit. What is this? Oh, Bianca's just walked in. He slipped in. Maybe unnoticed. Oh, Ardis gets the kill, and they drop the pit to kill Yosemite. Oh no, Finesse died, sorry. But it's certainly not easy. That was showing up massively. A very and with the pace they've shown on the defense, I'm gonna come back to the This is gonna sound silly, but that was quite an easy half for Billy Billy. They ran around, they did almost whatever they wanted, they over rotated, and they didn't get punished for it. They just were free to react to where NRG were making noise on the map and run at them and try and kill them as they were planting. The paranoia there is really nice. But I think one of the issues is that the finesse just needs to win the duel against Rin. It's not shown on camera, but finesse is in a spot where he hasn't been seen. He he just has to be able to backstab either YZ or Rin in that position. This is going to be very difficult for some. He's taken a little tag. They're just walking out. They're just absolutely contacting through. They've done them. Look at the confidence from Billy Billy. Look at the unbelievable, unwavering confidence. They're doing whatever the fuck they want. Love it. Love it. The Viper utility from Yosemite, lovely. The call from Bianc, lovely. And the paint shell for YZ. But they're so close. Uh, the timing on this is very, very uncomfortable. Pop flash, sure. Artist kind of turns that, so he gets a Oh, you got to win that. you got to win these. you got to win these. Now all eyes turn towards Artist. Crash, he succeeds. Oh, Jesus. It's over. It's fucking over. It's done. Billy Billy are winning.
Billy fucking uh, Billy I Gaming. Flash out through the wall or something, but oh my god. Dry, just contacting into B. This is and the biggest upset, so I think, in Valorant history. Literally. Yeah. With four players of Billy Billy staring at I think the head. other candidates are like Optic getting ups upset by fucking well. X10 a long time ago or something? Yes, or was that Team Secret? Team, did Team Secret be Envy? I can't even remember. There was some like big upsets a long, long time ago. Crew Sentinels? No, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This is bigger than Crew Sentinels. You're off the group. You're off the goop. This is equivalent to X10 Envy, but... Not what you wanted. We talked about checking your corner. Hello! Hey. Hello, buddy. That's uh, two right there. Victor's just decided oh, to become well, part of Billy Billy. He joined the roster for a while there. Does some good chip damage, but they're going to need more YZ. It's just a nightmare to handle. A fiend he with this weapon. Is. I hate it, and yeah. I love it. He learned Chinese. He's still going. My heart is breaking. He's oh, what is he with the judge? Go nuts. Go nuts. People were saying he was the one to watch. Two off the showstopper coming into round three. This, this is what I love about players being cocky. This is why they said it on the desk yesterday. Ardis was asked. What do you think of Billy Billy's duelist? And Ardis said, oh, yeah, he's a good player. He's a good player. And Nookie said to Ardis, what's his name? And Ardis goes, he's the duelist player from Billy Billy. And Nookie goes, yeah, but what's his name? And Ardis was like, the duelist player from Billy Billy is really good. Had no clue. Had no clue. And now YZ, with his judge only raise, judge and op only raise, is flattening NRG and Ardis. I love the hubris. Yeah, he knows his name now. He's going to be having nightmares. Yep. Yep. Look at it. It's yeah. to the, basically deny a ramp speed. I, really I think that close. NRG can still potentially win some rounds on defense here and make this close. But I think it's it's just too much of a gap, surely. The six-round deficit. They're just doubled up in back sight. It's a lot of damage onto Wisey. Good swing. Billy, Billy, breaking back in again. A two v three in their favor. Well, flipping a four v five potentially. Look at Yosemite's positioning. Got the man advantage in the post. He might just kill Crashies instantly. Crashies is going to swing. No, nope. wasn't ready for it. And Victor. It's over. It's it's properly over. For Billy, Billy. This is obscene, Mike. Can we just talk? Ooh. What do you think the percentage chances were in your head of this happening? I. Uh, yeah, go on. I'm saying. I'm yeah, this is I, I this is fantastic be for Chinese Valorant. This is the first event where China has had three teams. This is the first event where China's had the game released and actively advertised to. And it's the, for fucking some reason the first event where some North American players are talking about China never catching up to NA. Like, oh, why would you ever say something like that? You just know you're going to be wrong. Dude. Holy shit. Giving him the business. His hands are shaking. But it's not nerves. It's not nerves from the Billy Billy side. They're shaking with anticipation because they can feel the victory. They can feel the fattest upset dub of all time. Like I said, there's maybe a handful of teams outside of, you know, like Loud, Fnatic, NRG that you, you, you look at some of these. I don't even want to call Billy Billy a dark horse, but an unknown entity. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Are you just trying to curse them? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. NRG all right, all right, are on right. a rough buy. Okay. 
They're either going to be able to scrape together a buy and eco next round, or they'll have to half buy this one. The seven round deficit. This is not. This is not a curse. This is actually Billy Billy within touching distance. They're going to force around Ardis's knives with a guardian and two bulldogs. I mean, if they don't win this round, it's literally over. It's not egg curse or blah, 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 or whatever. It's literally over if NRG don't win and go on a run instantly now. What is this wall? That is a weird wall. Give us a little something here. Kind of cool, actually. Right now, it's been Billy Billy the whole way through. Just for now, playing passively towards mid and B. Wow, Ardis the gets the first right one, but there's so right. much damage on Victor. So much damage. All right, so they're going to try and react, pop into B. I really like this smoke that they're putting down. I think this is really nice. That paranoia. He should be fine for now, but here comes that explosion. Why is he going to dive on in head first? The dog comboed with the showstopper. Great combination from Billy Billy. Finesse gets one. Victor tucked in the corner in a nice spot. 1v1. Bianca's been so good. Ah, Crashies wins it. Their economy is still shit. Their eco is still going to be absolutely boomed. One Guardian. Oh, actually, I'm surprised that they get together such a nice buy. That's because they kept one player alive and Ardis used knives in that round. Look how nice that uh, look how nice that wall is, by the way, too, that Finesse is using. So it kind of works like a smoke for the player backside to be able to play off. You set up crossfires from backside and uh, default. It also lets you play, like, back here and open a wall there. And it has a gap so that when you play in B Heaven, you can see B Main. Quite a nice defensive Viper wall he's found. Zardis challenging towards middle as well. Looks like Billy Billy aware of the chance of that aggression. We know it's a common shift for NRG to look for opportunity. It's another must win for NRG. But this one's going to knock the eco down for Billy Billy. So eco swing round. Zardis peaks, but he's moving as he shoots. They're stacking players towards mid. Dog? The dog will see somebody here. Did it? Question marks? Yes. It must have done. There must have been question marks on the minimap because they're moving over to A. It's a bit dodgy from Crashies, but Victor finds... Victor just ulted into his own face! They're shook! Wobbly knees! Absolutely shaking in their seats! Finesse needs to find something on this flank, but a bulldog in hand. He's not going to commit towards it. No. So it's three on the site, one towards that little cubby. And Ardis, first man in. Dash into the smoke, draws the Oh, ice. Victor gets one. Does find it. Some gets trade. another. Some gets a nice shot onto Bianc. They know where Wisey is. is. Great trade by Some. What a round by Some. He gets the first kill off the back of his pull that made Rin vulnerable. So he gets a one shot off a vulnerable player. Then he hits a really nice headshot onto the player backside, who I think was Bianc. And then he trades out YZ. Very good round by Som. I've always said it. America's is a zero team region. Holy shit. What an absolute America's collapse this tournament might be set up to be. That would be phenomenal. How is that a one shot, man? Did Ardis have half armor? That's the other thing, actually. When people are doing half armor strategies. Wait, some gets two. Winnable still. There he is again! Motherfuckers everywhere! He's literally everywhere with the judge. He's everywhere. Uh oh. Oh, he gets the kill. Oh, Crashies is so clutch. Crashies is so clutch. The shot onto YZ as he jumps up on the metal box had my heart in my mouth.
I thought YZ was about to close it out with a judge highlight reel. And delivers here. Oh, Christ. Once again from Crashies to keep NRG's hopes alive here. Look at this start, though. That is, that is filth. I mean, he's just so slippery. Yeah. It's absolute yeah. filth. He's just one shot three players. Something to slow down Billy Billy in rounds like this. Yeah. Really oh the god the, the, is That's Billy Billy's really demise here. Ring yeah. Don't worry. Billy Billy are still winning this. Their economy is in a good spot. YZ is Maybe still hitting. Chance. They're Billy just NRG are just players. having magical clutches. Big players turning up like Som and Crashies. It it won't continue. Billy Billy look like the better team, they'll close it out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, there's a guardian and a judge. It's not a curse. In the inventory. It's not a curse. It's just it's just my actual thoughts. Getting these little rounds here and there. How many more can they get away with? Closer and closer. How many more has Crashies got up the sleeve? Oh god. You're not being reassuring right now. Why not? I'm giving you good reasons why Billy Billy is still gonna win. I saw him. Look, the economy is still fine. 6k, 4k, they're vibing. Yeah, I'm scared of this snowball round. I think NRG will be as well. Probably what the timeout was for. They can actually still buy the next round too, because YZ is going to be able to drop and buy a judge. Yosemite is going to be able to buy. Pretty good for YZ. They could still couple together another one for the next round. They probably shouldn't at that point, actually. You should probably take an eco after this. Billy Billy keep getting damn close. <sighs> Early Finesse has got a judge of his own. Some, can you break that, bro? Nope. Nice from Finesse. Giving YZ a taste of his own medicine. What the caster brain was that? Relinquishing some of that control. this will spot Yosemite. That was so eerily synced up. And now Finesse again he looking like a menace. Yeah, He's nearsighted. Nice. Finesse has actually just decided. Fuck it, we judge. Fuck it, we judge. Okay, chat, now I'm a bit worried. Just three, okay, chat. Four. Now I'm a little bit worried. Billy Billy will be down to SMGs, maybe a judge as because well. they're coming up with decent ideas here. At NRG. They don't look like they're dropping their spaghetti anymore. They had some big rounds by Som and by Crashies to get their mentality back in the game. Oh man, game's heating up now. Okay, so a couple of those ults got burnt though, right? So I'm a little advice. concerned. Some of that's been removed. Why is he already opt opted to invest his just around prior? Good spam from crashes, yeah. but why is he going to get healed? Some rotates. Ardis has got an operator on this really nice line. So they've got three players here ready to defend from NRG. Finesse is going to be able to watch this if they decide to go over to B. Looks like a good defensive setup to me. Billy Billy throwing in a contact round here would be nasty. This is so fucking disgusting, this idea from Billy Billy. This is so disgusting. NRG can't walk forwards here. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's disgustingly good from Billy Billy. And they have a lurker who's actually committed through ropes. Yosemite might be the backstab to end it all. Finesse is distracted. He just won't expect Yosemite to be here. There's no way. Yosemite gets a free kill 10 times out of 10. And now Ardis has an operator, no rifles anywhere around. An unwinnable 1v3. They've done it on the eco. That plan, that plan of tucking two players into here to wait, drop all of the Viper utility and punish NRG's read contact clear of ramp is so nice. 
especially because these two players can focus on A Heaven because Yosemite has already cleared out towards mid. So Yosemite, if Yosemite dies, then you can't wait in A Heaven. But when Yosemite is just wandering through mid, those other two players can just wait for the A Heaven reclear all day. So nice against NRG. Bianc is having such a good game as a fragging IGL. He's fragging, he's IGLing, he's coming up with good ideas. He's looking so good. Ay, ay, ay. Incredible work from Billy Billy to break that out at this point as well, showing they've got that depth. Mephistopheles, thank you for the 37 months. And now it's OT or it's bust for NRG. Ardis still with the operator in mid. Three players mid, only finesse A. This don't look good. Now, Billy Billy have been slow in terms of how they've been taking A. They've been using their Cypher and Viper utility. Ardis is trying to rotate. They've just got there in time, but Ardis is not in a nice spot right now. But now the problems fall back towards Finesse. They missed the nade. Finesse gets caught by Weezy, uh, YZ's double blast pack. This is a disaster. A 4v5 retake where you have the operator as well. Hit. No trailblazer, no boom bot. They have nade, they have flash. Here we go. This is it. Hold your breath. As now the fight begins. Night the players are so close. It's over. It's so over. It's unbelievably mega over. Billy fucking Billy gaming. Oh my god. I think that has to be considered. Can see what it means for the title of one of the biggest oh upsets God, ever in Valorant. We're here to learn. I think that's got to be a candidate for that one of the biggest upsets ever. Look at the Billy America's Billy. crowd. They are watching a stunning loss for NRG. the destruction of their continent. They faced NRG first, one of oh my God. To start your first... Champions run. Holy shit. Always delivering individual excellence. I mean, NRG has it all, but today somehow did not manifest it That is that is a fat result. That is a fat result. Do you think Billy Billy can qualify? Absolutely not. Okay. I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna give you some realism and some cope right now as well for the Americas fans. This game is gonna end up being a rematch in the lower bracket, and I don't think NRG lose it. They're good in rematches. I don't think they did enough prep as to how Billy Billy were going to play. I don't know whether Billy Billy are going to be able to convert this into getting out of the group because it's fanatic on the other side. So far, this caught all of us off guard, but 